Hi, I'm Scott Ross with Emerson's Modernization and Migration Team. Thousands of process plants throughout the world are still operating and operating well on Emerson RS3 process automation systems like this one. But we all know these legacy systems won't last forever. So the concern among plant operators and managers is how to transition to today's state-of-the-art digital automation technology with as little cost and disruption to your process as possible. Making that transition quickly, reliably, and painlessly is our main focus. Today I want to show you an example that was captured live on camera by our Emerson Process Management UK office. They helped an RS3 customer, Technical Absorbance Limited, migrate its 1400 I.O. from the RS3 to Delta V system while preserving the RS3 I.O. subsystem, much like the migration path that's shown here in the cabinet. Let me give you a quick overview. Technical Absorbance set a 16-day installation schedule that included a three-day system shutdown. Working with Emerson engineers, Technical Absorbance pre-configured and tested the Delta V controller interface for RS3 I.O. solution using the existing RS3 database and tool-assisted services. And on day six of the installation schedule, after installing the Delta V server cabinet, monitors, ethernet cables, and performing the site acceptance test, the plant was only shut down for three days to migrate two RS3 control files and MTCCs. The migrations were implemented in the plant central control room and in a control cabinet located on the plant floor controlling the plant spinning machine. Here's the system architecture before the migration, and here it is after the migration. And to prove the ease and speed of the conversion that Emerson's local business partner had promised, they captured it on video. Now we sped up the customer supplied video, but we included a stopwatch so you can see the actual time it took for the conversion process. Take a look. So there you have it. All said and done, the site implementation and commissioning for one control file took one hour and 15 minutes. The second control file took the same amount of time to commission. Then technical absorbance powered up the system and downloaded the new configuration. Days seven and eight were dedicated to loop testing, so you had a total three-day downtime. Not only was the first batch successful on the new system, that first batch, which has a 14-hour cycle time, was completed by the end of day 10 or over a third less than the scheduled 16-day migration time. That, of course, made for a happy customer who's also happy with this RS3 migration and modernization solution. And that's the point of this video, to show you how quickly and safely you can make that migration from your legacy RS3 system to the state-of-the-art Delta V digital automation system with all its control and process information benefits. For more information on your migration, call your local Emerson business partner or contact us online at these sites.